Good morning, guys. This is Becca. And there's Macy. Woohoo! She's waiting for me to throw her toy. Yeah. She's waiting for me to throw her toy. Let's see if I can throw it. This is all day long, guys. All day long. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. But I'm sitting here watching videos and drinking my coffee. And it is time for Toddler Tuesday. So I'm going to move over to my office chair where I can sh show you the... I can't really call them babies. They're not babies. My little girl and little boy for Toddler Tuesday. They really are kind of older than the toddler age, but that's okay. They wanted to participate, so Mama is letting them participate. But this collab is hosted by Renee at Renee's Reborns. Cena at Cena's Dolls, and Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. Uh, each week, you know, they each take a turn swapping weeks, and they each take a turn giving the theme for the the uh, collab. And this week was Renee's turn, and. She, uh, Macy, let Mama think. I can't concentrate with you doing all that. So, the theme that she gave us for this week is winter colors or patterns. So, um, I've dressed my big boy and girl, Louis and Louisa. In winter colors, Lewis has on his cute little black sweatshirt that has a d uh, dinosaur on the front of it. It's a, like a patch on the front of it. it. has a big old dinosaur. He has on his brand new blue jean pants. This is the first time he's wore them. And he has his brown shoes on. That's because that's all he has at the moment <laughs> is brown shoes. So he's all dressed up in his winter colors. And Louisa is dressed up in a, uh, is that a leopard print or is that a cheetah print? I can't remember. But it's a little shirt waist dress and it's long sleeves. The background is like a a light brown color, and then the spots is black and brown. She has on her beautiful tan knee-high socks that has bows on the side of them. And her dark brown, yes, they're brown, they're not black. It's showing up black on the camera to me, but they are dark brown. Uh, shoes and they have little flowers on the top of the shoes now I am right in the shadow and so you're probably not seeing it well one reason I didn't have flash on the light so there's the little flowers on top I know it's not picking up well but there is my Little girl and little boy, all dressed in their winter colors. And Louisa also has a pattern on her dress. She has the animal pattern, whether it's cheetah, leopard, whatever it is. Uh, she has that pattern all over her dress. So she covers both parts of the theme. And Louis just covers the winter colors. But they are so sweet, guys. I just love these two. I know I don't do a whole lot with them, 
because they are so big and it's hard for me to change their clothes. But I was changing them this morning and I just stood them on the floor in front of me each, you know, when it was their turn to be changed and just hugged them. I just, they are so adorable. But I do have some bad news. Lewis has got to have an operation again. If you recall, when I first adopted him, and he come in, he had a broke finger on his right hand. And hubby had to operate on him and fix his finger and get it put back on. Well, you know, if you've watched my video videos recently, uh, you might recall the video where I said, uh-oh, and I looked over. And Lewis had just fell over face first on the floor for some reason. I don't know if in my shuffling around, I had kind of bumped him and got him off the of balance. And it just took him a little while to actually tip over. I don't know what happened. But he just simply fell over the other day. And his hand, you know, see how Louise's hand is kind of, it's not all the way down by her waist. It's kind of sticking out. That's the way his hand was, and when he fell, the tip of, a, of one of his fingers hit, and it broke another finger off, and this time on his left hand, and so poor Lewis has got to have another operation to get his finger put back on, so hubby's going to do that for me sometime this week uh, after after Wednesday um, so I I don't know what happened I guess I, I had bumped him and he kind of got off balance and it just took him a you know a little bit for gravity to pull him on over but yeah but see these two these two dolls and they don't even have Lewis on Ashton Drake website anymore but these two dolls are older dolls and they they're made out of hard plastic they're not like the vinyl like the little babies they're made out of hard plastic and my floor is concrete and whenever you know they fall over or anything they just break <laughs> Especially, I mean, I think Louisa has fell over, but I bought her brand new from Ashton Drake. And uh, Louis, I bought him, I adopted him second hand. And so I don't know how old he is. You know, and after time, uh, this vinyl, you know, it gets crackly and, and brittle and fragile. And so he's... He's had two fingers broke off. And I'll show you the one that Hubby put back on. It's the middle finger right there. And you can't even tell, Harley. You can see the line right there. But he didn't just glue it on. He he got an, a dowel, dowel, is that what you call it? One of them long stick wood things, dowels. He cut it where it would go up into the finger and down into the hand. He glued it into the hand. And then he uh, put, the glue, put glue on the finger and on the dowel and shoved the finger on there. And it looks, I mean... Let me turn this flash off. Maybe you can see it better. You have to look close to see the scar. But bless his heart, he does have a scar where he had to have that finger operated on. And now that was the middle finger on that hand. And this is the ring finger on this hand that's got to be fixed. So... I, I'm trying to keep their hands down. Of course, if they fall, their hands might fly out like, you know, 
and still cause it to hit just their fingers but I'm trying to be extra careful and make sure they're standing up good leaning up against something uh, when I put them back in the nursery I put them there in their little corner and I try to uh, put one of them leaning up against the wall and the dresser and then the other one beside that one leaning up against the wall I try to secure them where they won't fall over but I think I had not too long changed Lewis's clothes and um, you know and, and moving and shuffling around I must not have gotten his feet positioned just right and he just politely fell right over and broke his finger off so he's got to have that fixed hubby's going to fix it for me and I'm getting an incoming call and covered the screen. <laughs> yeah, I, it come up and I couldn't see if I was pointing right at Louis and Louisa, but I was. It finally went away. Anyway, uh, I hope you all have enjoyed seeing my, my little girl and my little boy dressed for Toddler Tuesday. I know they're a little bit bigger than, than toddlers, but that's okay. They wanted to participate, so I got them ready for Toddler Tuesday, and they just, they looked amazing this morning. All right, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Go check out, I don't know if I ever finished telling you who hosts this um, collab. Renee at Renee's Reborns. I will have her link in the title because she's the one who picked the theme. I, and I never can remember from time to time if I can get all three in the title. I think I can. But the other two ladies are Cena at Cena's Dolls and Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. And I will have all their all three links where you can get to them, either in the title or the description. Uh, and just click on their links, and you can go search for their videos and see what they're doing for Toddler Tuesday. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing my babies today. Yeah, they're my babies, and uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I will talk with you later. Bye.